What is going on everybody and good evening to all of you. Welcome to Bearded Fishing Chats. My name is Colby. I am your host and a 25 year fishing expert. I have the experience. I am the guy to talk to for fishing you guys and for all of you fishing enthusiasts out there. Welcome to the debut episode of Bearded Fishing Chats. You guys I have not done a YouTube video in a very long time and I've never done a YouTube fishing channel uh, but welcome to the debut episode of my channel you guys. I'm so happy to have you here again. This is the first video ever on this channel and I'm honored to have you guys here. We're going to make this thing great this is going to be a channel for those fishing enthusiasts out there. And again, I am so excited to have all you guys here. Thank you so much for being here. So let's get right into it. Before we get into it, though, you guys, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, and make sure that you continue to follow this channel. Leave me some comments below as to what I'm doing good, what I'm not doing so good on, and what you would like to hear more of. I appreciate it, you guys. So today, let's talk about pre-spawn and spawn smallmouth bass. So you guys, during pre-spawn, some people consider it to be a tough time to fish. Um, majority of the time people are using jerk baits or hair baits uh, or, or hair jigs I should say at that time of the year to get smallmouth bass but there's one bait that I feel like people overlook as far as that goes so people overlook this MEPS bait right here it's the MEPS Aglia number four uh, and this bait to me is really one of the most um, underrated baits on the face of the planet uh, really it's the original French spinner um, and I have had such success with that bait, you guys, during the smallmouth bass pre-spawn season. So like I said, you guys, most of the time people use jerk baits and hair jigs in order to catch smallmouth bass in the springtime. Those are very common baits pre-spawn, uh, and there's nothing wrong with those baits, you guys. I'm a huge fan of those baits. Uh, I don't want anybody to overlook those, but that MAPS lure, you guys, is the most underrated lure I think I have ever used. I have never gotten skunked when it came to this okay you guys so that's one thing that i'd highly recommend for smallmouth bass is that maps number four that i mentioned um and i'd love feedback on that if you guys have ever used that bait comment below and let me know the response that you guys have had with those baits now the other thing i want to tell you guys is for those of you that are new here to fishing when it comes to the smallmouth bass spawn okay when smallmouth bass spawn you guys you're going to want the water temperature to be somewhere between 55 degrees and 60 degrees and that's very important for those of you who don't know a lot about smallmouth bass fishing or you're very new to this. Uh, that is going to help you out tremendously. If you can wait till the water gets between 55 and 60 degrees, the smallmouth bass will start to group up on their beds and they'll start to be in plain sight, actually, if the water is fairly clear that you're going to be fishing. So uh, with that in mind, what I like to use for spawn is I like to use the Gary Yamamoto Senkos. These are excellent baits, you guys, and really I have two main colors that I go to. So for this one here, uh, you have the red shad laminate. I feel like this color really works really, really well. Uh, you just place it right on their beds. You can wacky rig it. You can do, uh, you, you can hook it weedless uh, even if you want. Um, at that time, you just got to make sure you have the right size hooks. I personally prefer a number one hook for these smallmouth bass during the spawn. Um, but if you guys have your own preferences, that's fine too. Now, the second color that I go to here um, that I want to show you guys uh, is the uh, orange with, with red. The watermelon uh, orange with red here. If you can see that on the screen here, for some reason, these do work really well too. What I'm under the assumption is, is that this uh, almost mimics a crawdad color. And of course, I think for some reason, smallmouth bass really love those. So definitely something to keep in mind with that uh, but kind of going back to uh, pre-spawn you guys uh, with pre-spawn what you want to do is like I said you want to look for deep water and you want to be sure that uh, you remember the spots that were good in previous years as far as that goes because sometimes that can pay off for smallmouth bass fishing it's just kind of knowing where they were in previous years keeping a journal but then again being open to change as well because smallmouth bass can roam at at that time of the year uh, but like I said, really the best tip though is to uh, find deep water and then just kind of go from there. Uh, I would say that for my experiences, I've caught smallmouth bass pre-spawn. Um, anywhere between 8 to 14 foot of water is usually a good hot spot for me. But then again, they can be deeper. And of course, smallmouth bass themselves are actually uh, a fairly deep water fish to begin with anyway. So um, that's a really good safe bet for smallmouth bass. Like I said, they're, they're a very deep water fish compared to, let's say, a largemouth bass typically, which when the ice is out, uh, if you're in the northeast or in any of the colder states, um, the smallmouth bass will tend to stay a little bit deeper, whereas the largemouth bass will tend to come in 
uh, a lot more shallower, more quicker than the smallmouth bass. The smallmouth bass will typically start to come in shallow uh, when they are spawning to make their beds, uh, typically in a gravelly, rocky area. So, um, you guys, that is all I have for you today. Um, again, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button uh, for more. Like I said, you guys, this is my debut episode. Uh, I'm very happy to be here on YouTube with you guys. Can't wait to talk to some of you fishing enthusiasts out there. Like I said, we're going to grow this channel over time. We're going to make it better. Just figured I'd give a first uh, intro, intro video, a quick video for you guys. And I appreciate you guys being here. Hope you have an excellent rest of the day. Again, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Have a great rest of the day.